talk a little bit about fathers. Amen. You know? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. There is a great need in our day for fathers to live up to their God-given task. One of the reasons that the church is as weak as it is in many places is because fathers are not fulfilling their spiritual duties. Fathers are being caught up in jail. Fathers are being in drought. Fathers who are old feel the young, who they are now growing up, they are children themselves and they have become fathers. Fathers are being um, misguided in all different ways and you know when you look around in the church we see women. We see women standing in the gap for fathers when fathers supposed to be in this place. Yes. Amen? Amen. 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 One of the reasons that some many of the youths of our day are involved are they are in drugs, they are in guns, activities, and a host of other sinful things. It's because fathers are not fulfilling their responsibilities. Some fathers have gotten up and walked out of their homes and have not looked back on their children. They have not taken the time to see what their children is doing. They have not gone into the school to see how their children is progressing. They have just turned their back on their offspring. It is time that fathers and grandfathers realize the awesome responsibility that they have in molding our children's spiritual lives. It is time for us and for fathers to stop playing the blame game and passing the ball. They really need to step up. It is time for fathers to act like spiritual giants in the family. Today in our lesson, I just want to share with you two types of fathers. There are types of fathers that pass through the Bible, my God. And then there are types of fathers that we so desperately need in this time. Amen? Amen. The types of fathers not really needed at this time. One, we do not need fathers today who will pitch their tents towards Sodom as did ancient Lot. When time came for separation of Abraham and Lot, Lot clearly made a choice indicating his materialism to that place. Lot made a decision to take his family into Sodom and Gomorrah. Lot looked on what was happening over there and he thought, he thought that he would have been able to control his family in that area, but he was not able to do it. Amen? Amen. Sodom was not a prosperous place for the raising of a righteous family. If righteous Lot was tormented day by day by the wickedness surrounding him, just think about the effects this would have had on his family. Just think about it, his family coming on day by day and seeing these for righteousness. Sometimes we take our family, men take their family into different areas. They have drugs selling in the area. Um, they're, they're so close-knit houses so close, close, close by that all on Sydney activities are taking place and yet they choose to stay in that area and not move. Genesis 19 seems to indicate that some of Lot's children choose to remain behind and not leave with Lot because he only left with his two daughters. He only left with his two daughters and his wife. So they all stayed, they wanted the materialism. They didn't want to give it up. All of them remained back there. They did not want to give it up. Only pleasures. All too often, fathers made many of life's decision with materialism as a dominant factor. Two, 
We do not need fathers today who will not restrain their children like Eli of old. Of old. Remember Eli, the story of Eli. Eli was the priest and he had two sons and they were doing all ungodly things in the temple and Eli refused to correct his children. But one of the things that, you know why you read it? Um, and so when Hannah was praying by the altar, he was even quick to criticize Hannah and say, you drunk. She was crying her heart out to the Lord. And he was the one quick to say, you are drunk. But he was not correcting his own children. He was not correcting his own children. He was leaving them to do what they want. Eli, two sons, they were adulterers, fornicators, they were thieves, they were auspicious of the priesthood. Many boys and girls grow up and never see daddy set up boundary lines for their actions. They never see daddy say, no, that is not right. They never see daddy say, no, don't go there. They never see daddy take a stand for anything. They never hear daddy say no to their demands. They have some fathers. I have a husband if my daughter says she wants cheesecake to a book up. He go on. He will go and get it. He won't say no to her demands. They never feel his weight behind corporal punishment. Some of us don't like to hit the children. We have this new order. We don't want to head, but the Bible says to spare the Lord and spoil the child. Amen? Amen. There are fathers who are too, too permissive and are the greatest enemy of the child. They want to be the child's friend. And it cannot be your child friend. Fathers must discipline their children. Amen? Amen? Yeah. We have another father in the Bible. We do not need fathers today who practice theft, deception, and dishonesty as did Achan in Joshua day. And we all remember the story with Achan in Joshua's day when he went and he, he stole what was supposed to be for the Lord and he stole it and he hid it. And they were defeated. The whole camp, the whole household was defeated because of Achan deception. What about in this time we have fathers, they work at a job place, and they steal the items and they bring it home, and they tell the children to take it from a road. What kind of examples are they setting for their own children? For their own children, they are not setting some good examples. Amen? Amen. Amen. We do not want fathers today such as Jeroboam was to need out. Jeroboam was the first of 19 kings of the northern kingdom and had the opportunity of setting a righteous stone for his government and for his successors. One of whom would be his son, Nadab. But instead, he chose to walk by his own sinful stubbornness. Nadab did not have a righteous father to emulate. So he did what his father did. What he saw his father do, that is what Nadab did. We do not need fathers today who read the children in the speech of Ashdod impure talk, corrupt communications. Such was in the case in Nehemiah's day, in Nehemiah 13, 23 to 24. The root of the problem at that time was that Jewish men made the wrong choice of women and it was affected or affected the purity of their speech. They were being unequally yoked. We are further getting removed all the time from the language of some doctrine. Many of our young people no longer call Bible things by Bible names. 
and are not doing Bible things in Bible ways because there were not examples set before them for them to follow. Amen. Amen. The types Amen. of fathers we desperately need in this time. We need fathers today who will emulate Enoch. And I'm giving you some scripture verses that you can go home and read. Genesis 5, 21 to 24. Hebrews 11, verse 5. And June 14, verse 15. These verses picture Enoch as a father who walked with God. A man of great faith. And a man who was not afraid to speak out against ungodly speech and conduct. This was a man who was not afraid to correct his children. This was a man who was not covering up his children's faults. He was not covering up his children's sins. He was growing them up in the fear and the admonition of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are fathers leaving this after fathers really taking these examples for our children today? No. We need fathers today who will emulate Noah. Hebrews 11 6. Peter called him a preacher of righteousness. 2 Peter 2 5. Also, you can read Genesis 6, verses 8 to 9. Noah was a great father. He was concerned about saving his children. He taught them. He walked with God, leaving his children a great example to follow. We need fathers today who will emulate Abraham. He trained the way they go. If Abraham would have failed as a father, it is doubtful that he would have the title of father of all them that believe. He would not have gotten that title. He would not have gotten. But he was a man that you can emulate from. You can learn things from. He guided his children. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. He trained them in the way they should go. Amen. Joshua trusted in God. When others would not, they would go up to the promised land and they would come back with a bad report. What a great example Joshua has left for his children also. Joshua did not care what other fathers were doing. You know what Joshua declared? As for me and my house, I will serve the Lord. He did not care what you were doing in your house, but what Joshua said in his house, as for me and the Lord, I will serve. Yes? Amen? Amen. We need Father today who will emulate Zacharias, the father of John the Baptist. Luke 1, 5 to 6. These are high commendations for a man. He acquired these qualities before he became a father. Before he became a father, he acquired these qualities. He chose a wife with the same qualities as him. Godly preparation for fatherhood is imperative. Men need to excel in the keeping of biblical commands if they are going to succeed as fathers. Today is Father's Day, a day that we remember and we give respect unto our fathers. A day that we say, thank you men. Today is a day that we say, thank you. Today is a day that we honor you for being fathers. But let us also use this day to evaluate or fatherhood. Are we being the type of fathers that will be of spiritual benefit to our children? Are we being the type of fathers that are pleasing unto God? Fathers, 
Let us work harder in our obligation as a father of our children. Let us work harder. Fathers, you are called to work harder. You are called to take care of your children. You are called to step up. You are, you are called to be the head and not the tail. You are called to take authority in your home. Fathers, we call on you today to step up. To step up. Amen? Amen. Amen. So, as we close today, we just want to say again, thank you to our father in your house, Papa, our commander, CSI, our Papa. We want to call our brother best also. Hallelujah. He is always here. He is always here with us, brother best. And we just want to say thank you, and we appreciate you all a lot. Amen. 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 So we call on our Papa 